morning prayer in the Easter season. Uh, this is Monday the 13th of April, the Monday of Easter week. Uh, and uh, let us come uh, to worship together. O oh Lord, open our lips and our mouths shall proclaim your praise. In your resurrection, O Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Hallelujah. Blessed are you, Lord God of our salvation. To you be praise and glory forever. As once you ransomed your people from Egypt and led them to freedom in the promised land. So now you have delivered us from the dominion of darkness and brought us to the kingdom of your risen son. May we, the first fruits of your new creation, rejoice in this new day that you've made and praise you for your mighty acts. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Christ, once raised from the dead, dies no more. Death has no more dominion over him. In dying, he died to sin once for all. In living, he lives to God. See yourselves, therefore, as dead to sin. And alive to God in Jesus Christ our Lord. That's Romans 6. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. As it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. And as we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you now and forever. Amen. And our reading is 1 Corinthians 15 at the first verse onwards. Now, I should remind you, brothers and sisters, of the good news that I proclaim to you, which you in turn received, in which you also stand, through which also you are being saved, if you hold firmly to the message that I proclaim to you, unless you've come to believe in vain. For I handed on to you, as of first importance, what I in turn had received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the Scriptures, and that he was buried and that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures, that he appeared to Cephas, then to the Twelve. Then he appeared to more than 500 brothers and sisters at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have died. Then he appeared to James, then to the Apostles. Last of all, as to someone untimely born, he appeared also to me, for I am the least of the Apostles unfit to be called an apostle because i persecuted the church of god but by the grace of god i am what i am and his grace towards me has not been in vain on the contrary i worked harder than any of them though it was not i but the grace of god that is within me whether then it was i or they so we proclaim and so you have come to believe and the responsory death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? Christ is risen from the dead, the first fruits of those who have fallen asleep. Death is swallowed up in victory. The trumpet will sound and the dead shall be raised. Where, O oh death, is your sting? We do not all sleep, but we shall be changed. Death is swallowed up in victory. Where, O oh death, is your sting? From 1 Corinthians 15. And the uh, Benedictus, the song of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel, who always come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty saviour, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets, God promised of old to save us from our enemies, from the hands of all that hate us, to show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath God swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear, holy and righteous in his sight all the days of our life. And you, child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of all their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and shall be forever. Amen. 
And this week, uh, I'm going to read a prayer for you um, as our reading. It's, this is a prayer, the prayers of Walter Brueggemann, uh, probably the greatest Old Testament scholar who's alive at the moment. Uh, and this Easter prayer is called Not the Kingdom of Death. Christ is risen. We give thanks for the gift of Easter that runs beyond our explanations, beyond our categories of reason, even more beyond the sinking sense of our own lives. We know about the powers of death, powers that persist among us, powers that drive us from you and from our neighbour and from our best selves. We know about the powers of fear and greed and anxiety and brutality and certitude, powers before which we are helpless. And then you, you at dawn unquenched, you in the darkness, you on Saturday, you who breaks the world to joy. Yours is the kingdom, not the kingdom of death. Yours is the power, not the power of death. Yours is the glory, not the glory of death. Yours, you, and we give thanks for the newness beyond our achieving. Amen. And the prayers of intercession today are from the Church of England in these days of coronavirus. Let us pray to God who alone makes us dwell in safety. For all who are affected by coronavirus, through illness or isolation or anxiety, that they may find relief and recovery. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those who are guiding our nation at this time and shaping national policies, that they may make wise decisions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For doctors, nurses and medical researchers, that through their skill and insights, many will be restored to health. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For the vulnerable and the fearful, for the gravely ill and the dying, that they may know your comfort and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We commend ourselves and all for whom we pray to the mercy and protection of God. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. The collect for this day. Lord of all life and power, who through the mighty resurrection of your Son overcame the old order of sin and death, to make all things new in him. Grant that we being dead to sin and alive to you in Jesus Christ may reign with him in glory, to whom with you and the Holy Spirit be praise and honour and glory and might now and in all eternity. Amen. And rejoicing in God's new creation, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joys of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.